guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Alice for those of you who don't know me and I wanted my first video to be something that was me so I came up with this glittery pink look. If you guys want to see how I created it then keep on watching. So we're gonna go in with the electric palette and we're gonna grab the shadow savage. So because this eyeshadow is really highly pigmented, you're going to grab a little bit of products at a time and work it into your crease. Here I grabbed the Lorac Soft Pink to help brighten up my brow bone. Then I'm going in with Morphe Magical Magenta and adding it into my crease to add depth. And because we're using all of these bright colors, it's good to just grab a brush and continue to blend everything out. And here you could just grab any black shadow, I just use it because I feel like it helps enhance my color more and it helps define my crease.
grabbing some Clinique concealer. I just use this. That way it helps me map out exactly where I want to put my glitter. That way it's not too high and not too low. Grabbing NYX Glitter Primer, I just use this and go over where I put my concealer and I like to do sections at a time, that way I know that my glue doesn't dry. When doing my glitter, I like to keep it a little low, that way it doesn't transfer above my crease. Using the tape as my guide, I just like it because it makes my wings nice and pointy. Going in with a coat of mascara, it's a good idea to do this before applying false lashes, that way your falsies blend better with your actual lashes. If you guys haven't tried out these spoon brushes, you really should. You don't need to get anything expensive. I found mine at TJ Maxx, so...
going in with the Anastasia banana stick. I like to mark up my T-zone and under my eyes just to highlight my face. Going in with some setting powder under my eyes as well as setting the rest of my face, it helps me feel like I'm not oily and it helps me get rid of creasage. Using my Hoola bronzer to contour out my face, it's just going to help me bring back a little bit of color and give me some shadow effect. Going in with one of my favorites, Champagne Pop. I like it because I feel like it's subtle yet powerful enough to blind a bitch. I am living for this color, but am I the only one who feels like I have to keep my mouth open until my liquid lips dry? 
Well, this is the completed look. Everything that I use will be listed in the description box below. If you guys have any ideas for future looks, make sure to leave that in the comment bar as well. Thank you guys so much for watching.